Welcome aliens, this is Navin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about pointers in C but we'll also talk about how to fetch arrays or how to work with arrays using pointers. Now we, we, ha we have already talked about what is pointers, right? So what is a pointer? It, it, ref it refers to the address or it refers to the value of an address which is it stores, right? So let's say we have a variable which is i and the value of i is 5 so we can provide the we can save the address of i inside a pointer which is p as ampersand i and then we can fetch the value of i using star p right that's how it works but let's say how to use pointers with arrays now to do that let me take a uh, array here okay so let let me take an array so let's say we have a uh, 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 int array so we have int i and i will provide this box which refers to the size of the array then we can provide some elements. So let's say the elements are 5, uh, not 6. Let's say the value is 3. Uh, we'll say 8. Then we have 9. Then we have 7. Let's have 4. So we have this. We have this values, right? So we have 6 values. Now, how to print this value? So normally what we do, let's say, let's not keep it I. Let's say this is what? Let's say this is int value so I have a variable name as values right now how to print this value so what we do we use a norm we use a variable let's say i and the value of i initially will be one uh, let's work with this so we have we apply a for loop right and then we say i or let's not use for loop. Let's, let's let's fetch each value individually so what we can do is we can fetch the value of this array using values in bracket you can mention zero right so this will fetch the first element right which is which is five uh, if i say values one it will fetch the second element if i say values two it will fetch the third element right it will fetch this one eight now how to use pointers here so instead of using values so let's say we have a printf here so we have inside a printf here so instead of using array index number we can use pointers so let's say we have printf and after comma let's say we have this person d we can simply say it is star values now the advantage will be you don't have to mention the index number you, if you write star values what it will give you it will give you the first value which is 5 so by default if you mention star values it will give you 5 okay uh, then I want I don't want 5 right I want 8 uh, so before that how it works so if you talk about this array it will store inside a memory right and this value, this value refers to the first location. So if you have an array, okay, and this values, this variable refers to the first location. And as soon as you say star values, it will fetch the value of the first location. But I don't want the first location, I want the next location, right? So what you can simply do is you can say values plus one. Okay, just have to say values plus one. Now what it will give you is it will say, okay, values the first location plus one the second location and then you're saying star so it will give you three now if instead of one if you say two it will give you the third element which is eight okay so that's how you fetch values with the help of uh, pointers okay so we can we can also we can work with an array with pointers right that's simple but let's say i don't have a one dimensional array i have two dimensional array then what so in that scenario what we need what we will need is the first thing that you specify that we have a two dimensional array we said we have two and three so we have a two dimensional array here with two rows and three columns so how it will look like uh, so basically whenever you create this type of array uh, the the representation is something like this so we have a array inside that you have five three eight that's your first array first row the second row will be nine seven four right so that's your second row Okay, we have to provide a semicolon. So uh, we have an uh, array. So this is how it looks like, right? So it will be 5, 3, 8, 9, 7, 4. So that's, the, that's one way of creating two dimensional array. This is the second way. We can also write everything in one line. In fact, this will do. Okay. So we can define a two dimensional array with this box here. And uh, how we imagine it will be stored inside our memory, it will be like two rows. So we will be having two rows and three columns. Right, so first value will be 5, then we have 3, then we have 8, 9, uh, 7, and 4. Now, how to fetch these values using array? So, what we do, we say values. So, let's imagine we are in, inside a printf, okay? 
So if I say values and 0, comma, 0. So of course, which value will be getting? So let's say this is 0, 1, 0, 1, 2. So if I say 0, 0, I will get 5, right? If I say 0, 1, I'll be getting 3. And if I say uh, maybe 1, 1, I'll be getting 7, right? That's how we fetch values. But what if, if I remove the last box here, so this represents the row number, right? So if you talk about this too, so this is row number, this is this is column number, right? So the first bracket deals with the row number, the second bracket deals with the column number. So if I remove the column number, this represents the whole row, okay? So this represents, so if I say values 0, so it will represent the first row. If I say values 1, it will represent second row. But I don't want the whole row, I want only the first element of the row. So I want 5. So we can write star. Okay, so that as we have done in the, with the single dimensional array, we just have to specify star, it will fetch the first value. But then question arises, I want to fetch the second value. So simply you can, you can do is, you can give a bracket, okay, and say plus one. So it is the first row, second column. Okay, this, this, this plus represents the second one, the second column, right? Uh, so that's how we can work with two dimensional array. But hold on, we still have an uh, array here, right? If I remove this array, we can do that also. If you, if you remove that array, we just have to give one more star. So how it will look like is, is if I say star star, and if I say values, so now it will give me value which is five. Okay, this is five here. So it will give me five. I don't want five, I want three. So simply for, for this three, so this is your row counter. So that's your row counter and this is your column okay so we just have to say values so that's values and we can simply add by one okay but we have to provide a bracket here so why to provide a bracket so if i provide a bracket here so this will change the row okay so if i provide a bracket here for this star it will take you to nine i don't want nine i want i want three for that you have to provide a bracket so you have to place a plus you have to say plus one Okay, so we have to give one more bracket. Okay, so that's how it works. Again, I will see that how to, where to give bracket when we start with the practical. Okay, so you can work with two dimensional array, okay, with, with, with your, with pointers. Uh, uh, let's say, let me ask you a question now. So let's see if I write something here. So if I say star, star, values, plus one, plus one, now, any guess what I what output will be getting? So uh, try this, try out, try out, try out this thing, and let me know in the comment section what output you'll be getting here. Okay. Uh, so let's see what output you get, and we'll see in the practical session. So thank you so much for watching, and do subscribe for for the videos.